all paid less, the women were paid less, the women had more work. I have experienced bias gender not just from men, but from women too. She was the only woman in a university of roughly 15,000 people. Um, the, the road has not always been easy here in America. When I first came here and I was a young professor, my life was hell at this university. It was awful. I was in a male-dominated department, not CCT. I was in the government department, and things were said to me uh, as they were slowly but surely getting rid of each of my female friends in the department. Two bitches down, one bitch to go. Um, I definitely have experienced a lot um, as an African-American female. <laughs> um, the, the road has not always been easy here in America. Um, it's ways that I would say that the gender um, type size because media influences a lot of Americans and like black women are you know considered like loud and like ghetto and like not educated and stuff so it's shocking to me like when people tell me like oh you articulate very well or like they're shocked that you know I'm educated or I'm in these areas that they're really surprised um, so that's that's a way that I feel like you know gender and race plays a part uh, I went into my university and I had four I had four little children and I didn't tell them when I was hired that I had children because I knew I would not be hired. And my the gender bias that existed professionally um, amongst the women and the men um, was absolutely the classic kind of gender bias that we're seeing at war with she was uh, essentially told by her college advisor, her university advisor, not to remain in the program. Um, she was the only woman in a university of roughly 15,000 people. Well, and I think it really has to do with people making assumptions about who you are and what you want to say and how they interpret, I'm a writer, how they interpret your work. I try my hardest to make sure that um, I'm consciously thinking about um, um, these biases that, that, that are triggered um, uh, just innately. It's just a part of who we are. So I try to scale back and think it through before I um, make decisions and react. I do not think this is the end of the line. I think that it, we're not in a place that women would like to be yet.